Good morning everyone, welcome to another video from Power BI Consulting Services. Today we are going to explore a super useful and not so well known feature, field parameter in Power BI. Many times we want to display data in different formats, for example values and units, different time period like monthly, quarterly, yearly, different geography like country, region, city. However, due to how the data model or visual are configured, Power BI doesn't let us dynamically switch between multiple measure or column in a single visual. A common workaround is using bookmarks, which are powerful but duplicate the visuals since we hide and show them, often visuals don't remain perfectly aligned and the reports become less efficient and heavier. With field parameters, we can create dynamic tables that include measures, columns, or both at the same time. This allows us to create slicers that dynamically change the visual content based on the select value. In, the sample, in this sample dashboard we create, we can switch between values and units on the same charts. Thanks to this feature, we simply use the field parameter generate table as the value in the visual and that's it. Now, let's see how to create a field parameter from scratch. Go to Modeling tab in Power BI Desktop. Click on New Parameter, Field, and select all the measure or column you want to include in your slicer. For example, I don't know, this one. Power BI will automatically create a field parameter table with a column containing field's name and another with number for ordering. A pro tip, you can change the order by editing the number in the order column. You can rename the display field by modifying the text inside quote. And it's better to instead of putting order from like 1, 2, 3, put 10, 20 in some of 10 because if you need to modify later, it's useful to not change all the order. And something like that, you, your first field parameter is ready to full customize. And here is a little no trick. You can group field parameters into categories. Why? Right. This is helpful. In this example, we only have a few measures, but one client I had to manage up to 40 measures more or less in a single custom table. Without grouping, that list will be unmanaged. How do we group them? Well, we go to field parameter table, we add an extra column with group name and a number for ordering, like this. It's important that every field has a group and order value. None can be left blank. Then in the slicer, in list mode, add the value for group field, option first. Then add the original parameter field. In the order doesn't match, go to table view, use sort by column, and order value for by value five, where the numbers are. And then now you have a fully user-friendly group parameter table. I promise that once you start using field parameters, you will want them in all your reports. It's an amazing tool to build dynamic, clean, and efficient dashboard. Um, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to stay tuned for more Power BI content. See you on next video. Bye-bye.